Today we're making one of my favorite meal prep recipes, sheet pan, Greek chicken meatballs and potatoes. You'll start by quartering one and a half pounds of baby potatoes. I like using gold. You can also use Yukon gold potatoes and just dice them to a similar size. Toss them with two tablespoons of olive oil and season with two teaspoons of Greek seasoning and a teaspoon of dried oregano. I like using cavenders. They add a bit of MSG, which is extra tasty, but you can use any Greek seasoning. There's tons of recipes out there if you even want to make your own and you have a well-stocked pantry or spice cabinet. We'll add these to a half sheet pan, give them a good toss, make sure you get any extra olive oil in the mixing bowl on the potatoes. We'll roast at 450 for about 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes while you prep the meatballs. To start the meatballs, we're going two ounces of crumbled feta, a tablespoon of minced parsley, and a tablespoon of minced mint, another teaspoon of our Greek seasoning, and we're going about half of a red onion or around 100 grams, pretty finely diced. Then we're going a fourth cup or 30 grams of breadcrumbs, a, the zest of one lemon, and then about a tablespoon or 15 grams of lemon juice. Mix everything together. You could break up any extra large clumps of the feta. You want these to be pretty evenly sized just so you don't get any giant chunks in one of your meatballs. We'll add one large egg and a pound of 97.3 ground chicken. You can use ground turkey. You can use even a fattier cut of ground chicken. Doesn't really matter here. You want to mix everything together by hand. Don't over mix it. We don't want to paste. Just bring everything together and then we'll measure out 16 50 gram meatballs. A food scale is really handy, but you can eyeball it and then kind of redistribute as needed. By the time you have your meatballs ready, your potatoes should be good to pull. We will use a spatula to scrape these to one side of the sheet pan. Be sure you get all the crispy bits stuck off the sheet pan. We'll push these to one side and give them a good toss. These got a little toasty here. Uh, ideally, you work a little bit faster and you're not building yourself make your meatballs. Uh, if you notice these are too toasty, you might throw some aluminum foil uh, over one side so they don't get too brown, especially in the back half of uh, broiling your meatballs. So once you get these pushed on one side, we'll drizzle a little bit of olive oil. You can also use cooking spray if you want to save some fat and calories. Then we add the meatballs to the other side, evenly space these out. We're going to go back in the oven at about 450 for 10 to 15 minutes, and then we'll finish under the broiler for the final five to 10 minutes to get some nice browning on these. You want the meatballs to be fully cooked, 165 degrees internally, and nice and golden brown on the top.